The benefit of a French cleat wall is that it's going to be a lot stronger than a lot of your other options out there like pegboard or slat wall or that kind of thing. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to build a French cleat wall so that you can hang tool holders, cabinets, shelves, or really anything that you want to put on your shop wall. The French cleat system is a great way to hang things on the wall. It's very strong and it's actually a pretty simple DIY project that pretty much anybody could do. Now we're going to get in here and we're going to show you exactly how to build this. And if you're interested in building one for yourself, I am going to put plans in the description below so you can build it for yourself. And if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a big old thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Now let's get to it. A French cleat wall is essentially a wall that has a series of slats running along it that are cut at a 45 degree angle. And I'll show you real quick how that works on this sample that I made up. So the slats that you have running along your wall are cut at a 45 degree angle angled upward. And then your tool holders that you build, you're going to put a piece on the back side of that tool holder with the opposite angle. And then when you hang that on your wall, those two angles interlock with each other and they create a very, very strong connection. The benefit of a French cleat wall is that it's going to be a lot stronger than a lot of your other options out there like pegboard or slat wall or that kind of thing. The other benefit is that it's completely customizable and you can build your own custom tool holders. It's also a great way to hang upper cabinets and shelves. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you an example of a very simple tool holder that I made for this French cleat wall. Because my shop has a metal frame with no wood to attach to, we're going to be adding two by four supports in between the metal studs using L brackets. We're attaching these with self tapping screws and I'm using a long level to mark the location of each bracket. Each two by four will get a bracket on the top and bottom to make it good and strong. We're building this French cleat wall 15 foot long, the full length of our miter station. If you haven't seen our miter station video, I'll put a link to that right here at the top of the screen. Since the seam in our plywood is going to land in the middle of the studs, we're going to cut another support and attach that behind that location using pocket holes. Since I'm going to be lifting the plywood into place by myself, I'm attaching some blocks for it to sit on until I can get it screwed into place. I'm attaching the plywood sheet to the frame using countersunk screws into the wood and self-tapping metal screws into the metal studs. I will go back later to cover these with wood filler just to make it look good, but that's not necessary. Before we put the second sheet in place, we need to cut it to size with our track saw, add an extension to our outlet box, and cut out a hole in the plywood for our outlet box using our jigsaw.
Now it's time to cut our French cleats. We start by ripping a sheet of plywood into five inch strips with our table saw. I will include links to all these tools in the description below. Once these strips are cut, we need to adjust the table saw to cut down the middle of those strips at a 45 degree angle. This will make two French cleats out of each strip. Once those are cut, we spread a layer of wood glue on the back of each cleat and attach them to the wall using brad nails. To get an even spacing between each cleat, we use scrap 2x4s as spacers. Once the first one was attached, the rest went into place pretty quickly. I decided to sand down the sharp edge of each cleat to hopefully prevent that thin edge from eventually breaking or splintering. Now the glue and brad nails that we used earlier make a pretty strong bond, but just to reinforce these cleats, we went ahead and added countersunk screws. Now this thing is not only going to be really nice for mountain tools, but I think it looks really cool too. Alright guys, now that you got your French cleat wall up, now you're ready to start building tool holders and things like that. And it's really pretty simple. Here's an example of something pretty basic that I just built. This is a paper towel rack. Obviously it has a little shelf on the top. Very simple design, but really all you need to do is slap a downward facing 45 degree French cleat on the back of whatever type of box or tool holder that you're building. And then that's just gonna interface and clamp down in place and you're good to go. It's nice and strong. It's also great because it's not permanent. You can slide this around anywhere you want to, move it around on your French cleat wall. So once you put it on the wall, you're not stuck with that position. You can move it around anywhere you want to. All right guys, now that's it for how to build a French cleat wall in your shop. I hope this video helped you out guys. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave that down in the comment section below. Don't forget, we do have plans for how to build this in the description below if you wanna pick those up. And if you like this kind of video and you wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.